Have you ever visited the ocean? What about a river? Or a lake? Do you know what they all have in common? That's right! They're all full of water. Did you know that over 70% of the Earth's surface is covered in water? That means that there is way more water on our planet than there is land. Most of that water comes from our oceans. In fact, ocean water contains 96.5% of all the water on the planet. The rest can be found in lakes, rivers, streams, and other freshwater sources. Things like the humidity in the air, the water inside your body, and frozen ice caps and glaciers all contain water too. Water is essential. It is so important that we cannot live without it. Everyone needs drinking water to survive. But we use water in many other ways too. Water is used for keeping our bodies clean, washing the things around us, and even things like swimming and fishing. Can you guess what makes ocean water and the water found in rivers, lakes, and streams different? Yep, you guessed it. Oceans are filled with salt water, while bodies of water like lakes, rivers, and streams are made up of fresh water. Let's talk about the different bodies of water and what makes each of them unique. Oceans. Oceans are the largest bodies of water on the planet. They are made up of salt water. The ocean is deep. In fact, only recently have scientists been able to explore its depths. Did you know the deepest part of the ocean is 36,198 feet deep? That's so deep that if it were a mountain, it would be taller than Mount Everest, which is the tallest point on Earth. Many different types of life forms make the ocean their home. In fact, scientists think that there are about one million species of animals who live in the ocean, like sharks, fish, manta rays, dolphins, whales, and more. Oceans also have a lot of plant life. Many of those plants provide food for the creatures in the ocean, as well as shelter. Here's a fun fact. Did you know that in our oceans live tiny algae called phytoplankton? These phytoplankton produce about 70% of oxygen on Earth. Can you believe that microscopic algae can produce that much oxygen? Even though all the water in the ocean is connected, it is technically divided into five separate oceans based on where they're found. They are called Antarctic, Arctic, Atlantic, Indian, and Pacific. Have you ever visited one of those oceans? If you haven't been to an ocean, how about a lake? Lakes. A lake is surrounded by land on all sides and can range in size from a few square miles to thousands of square miles. They are scattered all around the Earth, and many are the remains of old glaciers from long ago. Most lakes are formed naturally. This happens when water from rain or water from underneath the ground finds its way into lower areas of land called basins. Lakes can also be man-made. These man-made lakes are typically called reservoirs and are formed by damming up a river. Lakes can vary in depth, but none are nearly as deep as the ocean. Lake Superior is the largest freshwater lake in the world. Its average depth is 483 feet. That's over 100 feet longer than a football field. But its surface area of 31,700 square miles is so large, it's just shy of being the same size as the entire state of South Carolina. Now, let's talk about rivers. Rivers. A river is a natural flowing body of water that runs toward an ocean, sea, lake, or another river. When rain falls or snow melts, 
it needs a place to go. Taking a downhill path, this flow of water forms a pattern into the landscape. This is one of the ways that rivers are made. The beginning of a river is called the source, and the end of a river is called the mouth. The characteristics of a river change from the source to the mouth. Rivers can flow down mountains, through valleys, and along plains. They can even create canyons. Want to hear another fun fact? Scientists believe that the Colorado River may have carved out the Grand Canyon beginning five or six million years ago. Rivers aren't just beautiful to look at, they're also incredibly useful to people. They can provide food, transportation, power, and even a place to bathe. The two longest rivers in the world are the Amazon River, which runs through South America, and the Nile River, that runs through Africa. Both rivers are around 4,000 miles long, which is about twice the length of the United States from coast to coast. Ready to learn about one more body of water? Let's talk about streams. Streams. A stream is a body of water that's similar to a river. It also flows from one place to another. Depending on where you live, you might even call a river a stream and a stream a river. In fact, there are lots of different names for streams. Like bayou, branch, brook, creek, wash, and others. But no matter what you call them, streams are very important. Many living plants and organisms call a stream their home and all play an important role in ecosystems around the world. Now that you know a little more about the different bodies of water, let's review. What is this body of water called? That's a river. Can you think of another name for a smaller type of river? If you said stream, you're absolutely right. Can you remember the names of the two longest rivers in the world? the Nile River, and the Amazon River. You're awesome! The world is full of water, from oceans and lakes to rivers and streams. All are important in their own special way and are all necessary for life on Earth. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.